So anyway, thank you very much, uh, ladies and gentlemen, for, for coming. Uh, I'm first of all wishing you compliments of the season, and I wish you a, a trying uh, 2023. It will be a difficult one, but we have to try. My statement is very, is very, very simple. Uh, it's very short, and it is arising from the 16 months of President Haka in the Maza rule. I'm basically looking at how President Haka in the has been ruling this country. And uh, the fear that I have, I, I want to tell you that uh, we are deeply concerned. It's not just myself. We have been talking with a, a number of stakeholders. And we are deeply concerned with President Haka Inde Hichile Maza, uh, mental status, if I could put it that way, mental status. And my statement, I will read the statement and then I will uh, add on something. So, from our point of view, we are saying President Haka Inde Hichile Maza could be suffering from a mental <coughs> disorder known as mythom mythomania, mythomania. I want you to go and check that mythomania, mythomania. He could be suffering from this mental disorder. And this is not just about politics or trying to be sensational. No, this is real, my brothers and sisters. If you go and check that word, what that word means, metho, mythomania, you will agree with me that we are supposed to be concerned and you know when somebody has caught a sickness or a, a psychological disorder you are definitely wondering is this person fit to be republican president as far as i am concerned i am doubting i am doubting the fitness the mental fitness of president haka in the to rule this country i'm really doubting because I think that this man needs to be subjected to a psychiatric diagnosis. He needs to be checked. Now, of course, what is mythomania? Mythomania is an excessive, excessive or abnormal propensity for lying and exaggerating. I'll repeat that. Mythomania is a mental disorder whereby a person has got this excessive or abnormal propensity to lie or exaggerate. Such people believe in their own lies. They believe in their own lies. He will be telling a lie and he believes it that it is true. And they want everyone to believe those lies. Even when they know that they are actually lying. It is a mental disorder. And brothers and sisters, sickness is not just about uh, it's not just about physical sicknesses. Because this is what we are we are commonly you know aware of. We only think of sickness when somebody no need no whatever whatever. But there is also a mental sickness. And a person who is perpetually lying, who lies for sometimes no apparent reason, that is a psychological or mental disorder called mythomania. And this, from my point of view, I think President Haka Inde Ichinema has it. And I'm calling upon Zambians that we should subject President Haka Inde Ichinema to a psychiatric test. He needs to be tested. Because I know some of you will be saying, no, but I mean, you, you, are, you, you are being sensational. I'm not being sensational. How many of you, how many of you or people out there in this country who doesn't know about the lies of President Daka in the President Daka in the has been lying from the time that he was in business the time that he was opposition leader and now as president, he has been lying. I can recount the number of lies that President Akainde Ichilema has been subjecting the Zambian people to. 
and they are uncountable. One doesn't need, he doesn't need, uh, um, uh, you, you don't need uh, uh, what, you don't need a, a, poly, a polygraph, polygraph, you know, that lie detector. You don't need a polygraph to tell the lies of President Dr. Indeji. Well, you don't need it. You don't need it because they're just evident. Starting from the promises. Look at the promises that he was talking about. I mean, the man has even no shame whatsoever, you know, to say, some people have been expecting to say, no, he should apologize for the lies. How can he apologize when somebody's sick? He can't, he doesn't realize it. He doesn't realize it. From my point of view, this is how I'm looking at He doesn't realize that Haka in, Haka in the HTML doesn't realize that he's lying because it is a mental disorder called mythomania. Then, even, I mean, look, there are so many, there are so many issues that I can, I can point to. Eh? I can point to so many issues. Talk about, no, the promises, the campaign promises. For example, no, you will get eight bags of, of, uh, of fertilizer. That's, he, this is a promise that he made. A promise that he made. He's in power. Have you heard him go back to retract to say, no, we are having issues, Z, and that's why we are giving you to Meda. That's why we are giving you less than what we promised. He hasn't. He can't apologize. People are thinking he can apologize. He can't apologize because it is a mental disorder. If, if indeed President Daka Inde Ishlema was fit to rule this country, he was a leader that is normal with a sober state of mind. He will come out and apologize to say, sorry, well, this is what we thought, but this is what is obtaining. But he can't do that because it is a mental disorder. It is there. I'm not fabricating this. I'm not an expert. I'm not a psychologist. But the, the definition of it doesn't need me to be a doctor. Doesn't need me to be a psychiatrist. The definition of it defines President Naka in the HL. Even instances, for example, you have that is issue that you, the media, brought out, uh, you know, and put him to task. When he said, did you meet Miringolungu? No, I never met Miringolungu. And everyone was, you know, like I told you that they want everybody to believe. And they want everybody to see the same lie. It happened during the time of Miringolungu's uh, issue. During the time of Miringolungu's issue, President Aka Inde Ichilema refused to have met Miringolungu. And because this mental disorder makes everybody to believe in their lies and to tell the same lie, we had the Justice Minister, we had the Attorney General, we had the Presidential aides, we had the Vice President, everybody lying because the President lied. And this is the danger. You see, this is the danger of somebody who has got this mental condition. Because when you are a president, when you lie, you have to force everyone to lie. This is the danger. This is why I'm saying he must be tested. We must see if he's fit because he's going to be subjecting to government to be lying. And that is not right. And a good example is the one of Miringolungu where we had all these people lining up, lying to say, no, no, no. The president never met Miringolungu. At the end of the day, what did we find out? When you pressed, you pressed, you pressed hard in that press conferences. He came to agree. I met him, but we didn't discuss the immunity. But the lie was already taught. And the people were made to repeat the same lie. It is dangerous for our country, my brothers and sisters. I'm not just doing politics. This is very dangerous. It's very dangerous. And this is one example that I've given you. Imagine how many people believed Decisions, policies will be made by governments, uh, by, by, by business community, by other government officials. They will be making decisions based on a lie. And that is very dangerous. It, it, just the other day, I even had the, you know, the, that, that newspaper. The other day, I had to know when he was removing the, when he was removing the, uh, what is this, the death penalty. Eh? At, I was on death row. Eh? Eh? Honestly, I mean, do you need a, a polygraph to tell that this man is suffering from a mental disorder? You don't need it. I was on death row. How? 
which way, where I was in the HDM on death row. Yes, he was charged of treason, that's for sure. But he, we can say that, uh, 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 as we all know, that you are not guilty until the court pronounces you guilty. And when you are pronounced guilty, that is when you can be on death row. But did Haka in the HDM come anywhere? Did he come anywhere to being on death row? Not at all. Not at all. So, these are the lies that I'm talking about, that this man is a perpetual liar. He keeps lying. And that is not acceptable. We should not accept it. We should not accept a leader in that office, in the highest office, to be telling lies. We should not accept it. And I'm challenging President Daka in the HDM that if he's fit, if he's not indeed suffering from this mental disorder of, of mythomania, can he subject himself to a psychiatric diagnosis so that we can know that the man is fit? Otherwise, we are deeply worried we might be laid by somebody that is not fit to rule this country. Like I have said, sickness is not just physical. Sickness is, can also be mental. And in this instance, I am suspecting President Haka in the Ichilema is suffering from this mental disorder and it is affecting the country in many, many ways. In many, many ways. We can't go on like that. Let this man be subjected to a mental, a mental uh, diagnosis, let him be checked. If they say no, he's okay, well and good. But as it is, wherever you are, you know it is not something that we should uh, take lightly. We need to take it very seriously. Let this man be, uh, be checked. Thank you very much. Any questions? My press conference and yeah, you are very thorough. So, no question. Oh, you have a question. I'm mm. a question, but uh, we can't get a from what you said in regards to the president's shape was on April. My name is Adora Miranda from DC. Okay. From DC, yes, yes, Adora. So, um, from what I heard, he mm. actually said initially I was on death row. And if any of you judges had gone ahead to convict me, initially I would have been uh, on death row. So he didn't actually escape, according to my understanding, to say he was actually on death row. But if the judges had gone ahead and convicted him, then it would have been that he was guilty of treason and it would have been a death row sentence. So I, I don't know how he. No, no, no. Did the archive look? The issue is he was arrested late. Consider it's undebatable. He was, uh, he was arrested. He was charged of treason. But surely that does not make you to be on the death row. You can't say, uh, I mean, let me give you an example of a, of a, of a uh, I don't want to, um, you know, to stigmatize anyone, but okay, of a sickness. Of a sickness. You know, there are certain sicknesses which when you get it, I mean, you are going to die. Okay? But uh, by the fact that you go and sit with somebody who is sick, can you come and say, who is got that, that sickness, which is, you know, you can die? Would you go and say, I was almost dying? <laughs> eh? I was almost dying. You can't, I mean, uh, uh, and, and please, I don't want to stigmatize anyone, uh, anyone. that's why I'm being very careful. You know, so So, for example, there are these sicknesses that you can contract ama STI, isn't it? And some of them, you can die. Once you get it, you are on death row if you could, if you put it that way. Now, just because I come and sit with somebody, can I go in deeper death row? Well, you, could tell you are far away. You can't come and start saying, if only she had agreed to sleep with me without uh, eh, protection. Eh? You are exaggerating. And Karaka mythomania, what you want definition? Lying and exaggerating.
the yes, Francis. In an event, he accepted to go for mental examination, mm -hmm. and he is proved to be the opposite of what you suspect. Meanwhile, you are already behind the support of the for being led by the police. Who, is the well, who, who may have a mental disorder, yes. Who may have a mental disorder. Mm. Who do the, the, the medical fraternity accuse you of trying to, to secure the rights of those people that are mentally disordered? Because that's not their choice to be in this environment. Uh, my statement is very clear. I'm not talking about uh, mental disorder in general. I'm very specific on the president. And my conclusion, my conclusion, and I've already said I'm not an expert, my conclusion is arising from the many lies. You know, in psychology, behavior is a repeated action. And this is repeated. President Akain Dechilema's lies are repeated, and exaggeration repeated. So it is not anything to do with those people in mental disorder. If anything, I actually sympathize with them, and I want to take them seriously as well as human beings. Because... Umuntu, if he has got a mental disorder, sometimes we think of them as less human. But no, it is just a sickness, like any other sickness, which anyone can have. And in this instance, even the president, Daka in the HLM, just like he can get sick of, you know, uh, 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 what is this, uh, COVID, he can also get a sickness out of this mental disorder. And from the behavior, I'm a symptoms. Me, I'm seeing symptoms of this sickness. And that's why I'm calling for this. So it is not about other uh, other um, uh, people with uh, mental disorder. Yes, my brother, you have just come in. You want to ask something? No. Yeah. It's clear. Yeah. Somebody wants. Somebody lifted a hand. That's it. Yes. Yeah, so you wanted to ask? Yes. I'm missing out in the group and stuff. Yes. Yeah, I'm trying to analyze your statement. What you have already stated. Are you telling London to say there are more no mental disorder because they are the ones that have chosen that president? Yes, of course, mental disorder. And my emphasis is really here. I'm sure psychologists will be very happy with me. Psychologists and, th and the, the psychiatrists will be very happy with me. There are many mental disorders in this country. I may have one myself. I don't know which one that one is, you know. Maybe Rungumbwa, you know. <laughs> I don't know. It is a mental disorder so you can have there are many different uh, 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 mental disorders and you can have one and each one of us may have one i may have one myself and in this instance i am being very specific on president Daka in the to say he lies too much where it is not even necessary for him to lie i don't have to go through the number of lies that he brings out you know them according to me. Done, eh? Thank you very much.